Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. The Boomslang, Despolidus typus, is a large snake belonging to the Colubridae family. With 249 genera, it is the largest snake family. Its common name means tree snake in Afrikaans and Dutch. Boom means tree, and slang means snake. The Boomslang is endemic to Sub-Saharan Africa. This species is most commonly found in the central and southern regions of the continent all across wooded grasslands and lowland forests. They are most abundant in Eswatini, formerly named in English as Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe, but have been also observed as far north as Nigeria and southern Chad, and have been reported as far east as eastern Guinea. The average adult boomslang is 100 to 160 centimeters, 3.3 to 5.2 feet, in total length. Some exceed 200 centimeters, 6.6 feet. Weight varies from 175 to 510 grams, 0.38 to 1.12 pounds, with an average of 300 grams, 0.66 pounds. The head has a characteristic egg-like shape. In this species, the head is distinct from the neck and the Canthus rostralis is distinct. When talking about Canthus rostralis, we refer to the angle between the flat crown of the head and the side of the head between the eye and the snout. Or more specifically, between the supraocular scale and the rostral scale. Its eyes are exceptionally large and the pupil is round. The Boomslang has excellent eyesight, and often moves its head from side to side to get a better view of objects directly in front. Coloration is highly variable, showing a high degree of sexual dimorphism. Females have dark green bodies and brown bellies, whereas the males have bright green bodies with black or blue outlines traced along with the scales. These color schemes are important adaptations that provide camouflage among the trees. The maxillary teeth are small anteriorly, seven or eight in number, followed by three very large, grooved fangs situated below each eye. The mandibular teeth are subequal. The dorsal scales are very narrow, oblique, and strongly keeled, arranged in 19 or 21 rows. The tail is long, and the subcaudal scales are paired. Dyspolitus typus is diurnal and almost exclusively arboreal. Since these snakes are long and slender, they can move through the trees swiftly to catch prey or flee from danger. Its diet includes chameleons and other arboreal lizards, frogs, and occasionally small mammals, birds, and eggs from nesting birds, all of which it swallows whole. Boomslangs will also feed on other snakes, including cannibalizing members of their own species. During cool weather, boomslangs brumate for short periods, often curling up inside the enclosed nest of a weaver bird. While most colubrids are not venomous or have venom that is not known to be harmful to humans, a few groups can produce medically significant injuries. The boomslang is a notable exception in that it has a highly potent venom, which it delivers through large fangs located in the back of the jaw. The boomslang is a timid snake, and bites generally occur only when people attempt to handle, catch, or kill the animal. When confronted and cornered, it inflates its neck and assumes an S-shaped striking pose. The venom of the boomslang is primarily a hematoxin, it disables the coagulation process, and the victim may die as a result of internal and external bleeding. The venom has been observed to cause hemorrhaging into tissues such as muscle and the brain. Other signs and symptoms include headache, nausea, sleepiness, and mental disorders. An adult boomslang has 1.6 to 8 milligrams of venom. Quite venomous, considering that 5 milligrams is enough to kill an adult human. 
Because boomslang venom is slow-acting, symptoms may not become apparent until many hours after the bite. Although the absence of symptoms provides sufficient time for procuring anti-venom, it can also provide victims with false reassurance, leading to their underestimating the seriousness of the bite. This was the case of the herpetologist Carl Schmidt, who died in 1957, after being bitten by a juvenile boomslang, which he had doubted could produce a fatal dose. He made notes on the symptoms he experienced almost to the end. Boomslang monovalent antivenom was developed during the 1940s. The South African vaccine producers manufactures a monovalent antivenom for use in boomslang envenomations. Treatment of bites may also require complete blood transfusions, especially after 24 to 48 hours without antivenom. Female boomslangs follow the scent of male hormone trails. After mating, there is a period from 4 to 8 weeks before the female lays eggs. These are usually deposited in a hollow tree trunk or rotting log. On average, 8 to 14 leathery eggs are laid and up to 28 have been observed. After the eggs have been laid, the female generally leaves the eggs alone and never returns to check on the young. The eggs have a relatively long incubation period, averaging three months. Hatchlings are about 20 centimeters, 7.9 inches, in length and pose no threat to humans, but are dangerously venomous by the time they reach a length around 45 centimeters, 18 inches. As hatchlings, boomslangs need to eat every two or three days. At this stage, their diet consists mainly of smaller reptiles. Their first skin shedding occurs when they are approximately 10 days old. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.